Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Friday, March 8th, 3 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Holy shit, it's 2019. That's insane. What's more insane are the GFS models showing heavy snows as secondary event through March 15th. South Dakota, keep calm. It's boom time. Winter storm winding down at Lake Tahoe after dropping one and a half feet of snow at high elevations. This winter storm is on its way out after bringing several days of rain and snow to the region. However, travel waivers being issued ahead of another win uh, weekend winter storm. Look at that. Sun County Delta Airlines issuing travel waivers ahead of a winter storm that is expected to dump heavy snow in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Now, do you know what's happening right now? It's insane. In the membrane. Colorado experiencing its largest avalanche warning ever. Ever. West of the Continental Divide. Not only that, my entire computer is doing nothing. But doing nothing. It's amazing. Avalanche danger in Colorado becomes extreme. Boom! That's tonight's first boom which is a boom of tonight, which is the first one. Are you listening to a jab? Upside down, but we were able to get the Radio traffic from a CDOT worker, one of the first people on the scene as a massive avalanche hits Highway 91. I'm not really sure how to describe it. It's frightening, uh, amazing, um, you know, terrifying, kind of all at the same time. Buried under boom feet time. of debris, three vehicles and we didn't know how many cars were involved or how big it was so i um, just started coming over here to, to take a look once it started to see what it was um yeah my heart sank the sky shoots as they're called have never in the history of the state reached lanes of the highway here with avalanche debris we don't have any records of these avalanche paths hitting the highway um certainly you can look at them and never ever event um like today. Like today. The pictures from Drone 4 show just how large this avalanche was. Trees snap like Holy trees. macro! look like toy trucks up against this impressive pile of debris. It's amazing that nobody got seriously injured or killed. And uh, I'm really thankful for that. Lucky no one was hurt or killed. And hopeful this luck keeps up as the avalanche danger remains. Are you serious? Lucky, lucky. Chicken dinner. <laughs> Avalanche danger in Colorado becomes extreme. He wore a really tight suit with a matching tie to match the color of the warning. Holy. That is like granimals shit. <laughs> it's so granimals. My computer's not working. Blizzard to bury north central U.S. under heavy snow drifts this weekend. Just a week before spring. The following message is transmitted at the dot dot dot. Avalanche warning. Yeah, dude. Three-year-old rips down homemade snowboarding slope. Residents of the northern plains and upper Midwest tripping their balls who have been dealing with weeks of brutal cold will need to start preparing for a major winter storm to strike this weekend, which will flow in like teal off of the Pacific and blow you away. Expected to blanket the peaks of the Wasatch in Colorado ski country with several inches of snow. Ski resorts will enjoy the powder dump leading into the weekend and the storm dives into the plains. It's insane. Soon after the storm emerges from the Rockies, an area of snow is forecast to expand rapidly. And travel is expected to deteriorate, which means it'll get bad as it deteriorates. Avalanche danger in Colorado becomes extreme when ties match the map. Oh, I love it when the map. What? Why does I? Why do I keep clicking that? Boom! 
I have like 14 articles on this. Denver Post, extreme avalanche warning issued after Colorado records 2,000 slides. Oh, you can't even hide. State officials catapulted their gauge of avalanche danger to the highest level after Colorado notched 2,000 avalanches this season. Series of avalanche swept across Interstate 70 today near Vail, closing that road. And then, and then, and then the video struck, which we already showed you in the race because it was slowing us down. But we're apparently stuck again. Stuck like Chuck. Hello. Anything? Maybe we need power. <sighs> Hours of power. Do it. Do it now. Bear with us. Minnesota dairy farmers dump milk weekend winter storm could add five to six inches to current snowpack. Whew, we're not smoking crack. Five, six inches brings it right up to the mail. Holy hell, Fox 9, if you're tired of hearing about the snow, <laughs> we recommend not watching our channel. But check the links below because you can read the rest of this article. The Minnesota dairy farmers dump milk because of snow buildup. Not only that, farms, buildings, all kind of is hitting the fan. The Twin Cities saw the snowiest February on record with 39 inches of global warming goodness. And more than 27 inches fell in St. Cloud. Crushing structures. And there are tons and tons of dairies around the state that had to dump milk in recent days. Said Lucas Strosham, executive director of the Minnesota Milk Producers Association. I know it's in the hundreds. It may be thousands of dairies. And that's... I hope it was GMO milk. Jesus, I love my milk. Mm. Totally frozen. Bear with us. It's all good. I'm going to try to run through this quickly. GFS model, boom, you're buried. Weather Ready Nation map, boom, you're buried. Winter storm warnings, winter storm watches, avalanche warnings in pink and bright purple or blue or teal or turquoise, or whatever you want to call it, you're buried. A significant storm system is expected to bring heavy snow, hazardous travel from the northern plains to the upper Midwest and Great Lakes over the weekend. And then, look at the Sierras. The whole state is mint green over here in California. Does that mean they're Democrats? Rare Florida earthquake has magnitude of 2.6, but it shakes the panhandle. It's not a schmandel. It is an uptick on the New Madrid. Oh, there we are. We're shut down. They don't even like us. <clears throat> the uptick we've been talking about on the New Madrid and the Appalachian Fault continues, as well as globally. Whew. We have an uptick in north of New Zealand. Over 400 quakes above 4 magnitude in the last 48 hours. And if we just pan here, pan in here on the U.S., take a look at this. Just do seven. Let's melt the computer down because it's already melted. Let's do it. Holy macaroni. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, are you kidding me? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 quakes. There hasn't been an uptick on the East Coast of 15 quakes from, from the New Madrid East like this in seven days ever in my lifetime that I am aware of. Look at that cluster near New Madrid. Look at that cluster in the Caribbean.
Beaver, Utah. Are you kidding me? I love Beaver. I said it. And this quake should be raising an eyebrow. So should the C1 flare, Earth facing, happening moments ago from Sunspot 2734 AR 12734 Beta CAO. Ho, ho, ho. I hope I have this video. If not, we're going to wait all night. You're going to wait for it. Earth facing, direct hit. We do not. We have not confirmed CMA yet, but there are whispers. Irregardless, this baby struck so directly that you're about to see it live. Okay, we need to parse it up. Let's let let's look at it. Sunspot 2734 Beta CAO upgraded to 10% C flare. Well, we don't need an upgrade because we got one. Lowest magnitude C flare. Now, we haven't had a C flare directly earth facing in a very long time. Years. And the magnetosphere has waned quite considerably oh man we're not even going to be able to see this I hate my computer let's refresh that and let's get on with the rest of the news and we'll come back nearly 1500 pulses of lightning recorded off a of southern California coast in five minutes <clears throat> is this a precursor to a big quake? Not necessarily, but it is a sign of the times. As the magnetosphere wanes, as the sun shuts down, the electricity will kick up. It will kick it up a notch. Man, what is slowing us down so much? We are lagging so much. It is insane. I can't finish the video. I apologize. Take a look at Postlude Part 2, the Adam and Eve story. There is an avalanche warning, the largest ever in state history in Colorado currently, burying roads. I can't finish the video. We have no connectivity. I'm pretty sure it could be on purpose. <laughs> we are a satellite uplink after all. And they can do whatever they want. Remember, the GOES magnetometer was getting jiggy for a few days. It's back up. Back to normal. Back to normal, folks. So, a couple other things. Israeli moon lander snaps epic space selfie with the full Earth behind it before it gets to the moon. For those of you that don't think we have pictures of the Earth from space. There's one. Right there. Earth is flat, though. We all, we all know that. That's what it's all about. Believing conspiracy theories might make you a criminal, study says. No wonder less than half of you that watch these videos are subscribers. Avalanche closes roads in Colorado, buries cars near Copper Mountain. Like a fountain. You know it. Drive on the wrong road and you blow it. God damn it. <laughs> I really wish I could do this video. But nothing's working. And I know you're still hanging on. Been waiting for days for this. We've got nothing. 
We're totally fluxed. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor satellite uplink. We'll try again tomorrow. Be safe.